everybody, my name is Tanya and this is my very last minute TBR for the Book Buddyathon. So the Book Buddyathon is a week long readathon that's running from the 7th to the 13th of May. It is the 7th of May right now, it's the morning, uh, so I'm just getting this out now. And it's a readathon that you do with a buddy. The Book Buddyathon, of course, was created by Eleanor from Eleanor's Books and Sam from Cold Tea and Crumbs. And this is the second time that the Book Buddyathon has run. And I will leave links to their announcement videos and their channels, all that good information down in the description. I participated in the Book Buddyathon uh, the first time and I really enjoyed it, although I was a pretty half assed buddy to Erica. Sorry! So I was super excited when Eleanor and Sam announced that they were doing it again. And then I kind of put it to the side of my mind and forgot to find a buddy. So it wasn't until the last minute that I've now uh, organised my buddy. Because I left it to the last minute, instead of uh, buddying up with somebody that I talk to regularly, I now have the opportunity to get to know somebody new. So my buddy is Gabby and she is on Twitter as The Mint Smarty uh, and she approached me and said was I still looking for a buddy and I said yes. We generally seem to read quite different things. Gabby reads a lot of YA where I don't read a lot of YA these days. Um, but I think that's going to be really interesting to kind of come at things from uh, different perspectives and I'm very much looking forward to it. So with the backwards and forwards I now have my TBR finalised, it's the morning of the book buddy-a-thon so I'm getting organised to film this and then hopefully I can get into some reading. I do also have some things going on this weekend, my nephew is turning four tomorrow so we have his fourth birthday today which I am super excited about and then tomorrow of course is Mother's Day so I uh, am going out to high tea with my mother and then there might be something happening later in that with my uh, grandmother and the rest of the family so uh, it's a busy weekend to start a readathon but I'm determined to find some time to get some reading done in there as well. So as always there are a number of challenges around uh, yourself and your buddy and I'm just going to get into showing you what I'm going to read during this next week. So the first challenge is to pick out three books and get your buddy to choose one for you to read uh, and the one that Gabby chose is Six Bedrooms by Tegan Bennett Daylight. This one I'm reading for a new project of sorts I guess that I'm trying to set myself um, that I'll try to film a video about soon. Uh, the three books that I sent to Gabby were all part of that project and this is the one that she chose so this will be my starting point. Six Bedrooms is a short story collection so that should go quite well for a readathon and the writing in this is also very large with uh, very generous margins so I think I should fly through this. Uh, as I said it's a short story collection and the stories all have themes of kind of growing up and becoming an adult um, and I think it sounds fantastic. Uh, it seems to touch quite a number of um, more difficult themes in here so I'm looking forward to seeing what this has in store. The second challenge is to buddy read a book with your buddy and I took a look at Gabby's Goodreads and kind of looked at what we had in common on our TV Red shelves. Uh, there wasn't much. <laughs> And a couple of those books are books that I wasn't so interested in anymore, but thankfully there was one on there that we are both looking forward to and have decided to read together. And that is Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I have been looking forward to this for a very long time. I have previously read or listened to Coraline and American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Very different books from one another, but I enjoyed both of them very much. And this one I hear only fantastic things about, so I am very much looking forward to that too. The audio version of Coraline that I listened to was narrated by Neil Gaiman himself, which was fantastic. And I believe you can also get a Neil Gaiman narrated version of this, which I don't own at the moment. And I'm right in the middle of doing a Harry Potter reread but experiencing them on audiobook for the first time and I really don't want to disrupt that. So I think I'm going to go with the book version instead which will probably be better for a readathon because then I know um, where I'm going and we're planning to kind of read chunks a day and then talk about it. Um, so I'll be able to know exactly where I'm up to if I read the book instead. And so I'm looking forward to reading as versus listening to a new game in. As you no doubt heard already this one is the story of Bod whose parents are killed and then he ends up being raised by ghosts in a graveyard and if that doesn't sound fantastic I don't know what does. The next challenge is to read a book with your buddy's favourite colour on and Gabby's favourite colour is green which was actually perfect because this is something that I was meant to have read last month and I didn't get around to it and now this is the perfect book to say no, you've got to read it this week. And that is A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf. This of course was the April pick for the Feminist Orchestra Book Club and I have been very much looking forward to this. This was the only one from the book club that I owned already um, and I just didn't get there. I didn't get to a lot of things uh, in all aspects of my life in April, but hopefully I can catch up in May. So as I mentioned before, everyone's own is Virginia Woolf's essay on uh, writing and writing as a woman. Um, and I'm very much, I have been very much looking forward to reading this one. So that will be my book with green on it. The next challenge is to read a book that starts with the first letter of your buddy's name. And Gabby of course starts with G. And for this I've chosen something that I'm quite excited about and is a very new addition to my collection. It only arrived this week. Um, so spoiler alert for some kind of future haul when I finally amass enough books to uh, film another haul because I've been really 
good or bad depending on your perspective on that and i haven't acquired many books for the last couple of months at all so that's a thing however the book that i picked out to read that starts with g is the girl who said could never go to fairyland in a ship of own making by captain and valente this one i actually won i won erica from erica rayables uh challenge for the jury 24 hour readathon um, and I was super excited so I got to pick out a book. I picked two books that Erica had given five stars to that I was interested in so I would get a surprise and she obviously chose this one which I am very much excited about. This of course, I, I just hear people rave about it a lot. This seems to be Captain Palente's like big work. I've only read Six Guns Snow White by her and I also own Speak Easy which you can see over here um, but I hadn't got to her most popular so I thought it was finally about time and as I said it arrived this week and you know girl gabby it's perfect so um it's also perfect for a readathon because it's you know aimed at a younger audience and it's quite short and i'm sure the writing in here is quite large so i, I figured this was a good one and a good opportunity to get right into this instead of having it sit on my shelf and not get to it for a very long time i want to read it now and then the last challenge is to read a book you want to just because and I think you know enough of my readathon TBRs to all guess where this next one's going to go. But that, of course, is The Alien, which is the eighth book in the Animal series. Um, you know, enough said. It's another readathon, it's another Animals book. This time we're up to the first one narrated by Axe. So I said in one of my previous videos, we've done the full rotation of narrators and have gone back to the start again. Um, but now we get Axe starting to alternate with Tobias. Um, so we get, you know, every second time it's Axe or it's Tobias. So this is the first one narrated by Axe who is the Andalite who has joined the Animorphs. Uh, and Axe's stories are always very amusing because, you know, he's an alien, so he's got a completely different perspective on some things. So I've been very much looking forward to this one. And so, of course, another readathon is the perfect time to pick this next one up. So this is a stack that I've got picked out for Book Buddyathon. I think this should be quite achievable. I've got uh, three children's books in there, a small essay, and a book of quite generously spaced short stories. Um, so I think I should get there. My reading has been all over the place lately. Um, I haven't been getting much reading done during the week and this weekend, as I said, it's got a bit going on, but I'm determined to make this work and to try and be a bit of a better buddy this year than I was last year. In either case, I'm very much looking forward to everything in this stack, so this week should be great. So thank you again to Gabby for being my buddy. Let's do this thing. As always, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.